All right, so again, taking the derivative, you guys can see this is a example of the product rule. Pretty claim and see, so here are numerator times x minus two minus x times one all over x minus two squared and what we get is negative 2 over x minus 2 squared. Correct? Hopefully good. Yes. All right. Um, now what we need to do is find our critical value. So we need to identify, um, <coughs> need to identify either when it is equal to 0 or when it's non-differentiable. So we're going to set it equal to 0. So say 0 equals negative 2 over x minus 2 squared. And what we can identify here, guys, is if we were to multiply by x minus 2 on both sides, then we would have no critical value. But we could also look into when it's, um, when it's going to, we could also look into when it's undefined. And we could say that if you had a two, x equals 2, then it would be undefined, right? So we can say our critical value is going to be equal to 2. So now, to check our extreme value theorem, we need to test our endpoints, f of 5, f of 3 and our one critical value of f of 2. And again, f of 2 is a critical value because it's not what it equals, but it makes this function, it makes the um, derivative uh, non-differee, um, it makes it undefined when you plug in 2, right? Because 2 minus 2 is 0, 0 squared is 0, and you can't divide by negative 2. So now we just go back to our original function, and we end up getting here, let's see, 5, that becomes 5 thirds. Over 3, you're going to equal to 3. And going back into 2, what did I have in there? Should be is that 2? Oh, I'm sorry. Well, idiot. Um, we have 2, but remember 2 is not within our 2. Yeah, I'm saying you can see 2 is your critical value, but 2 is not within your, um, is not within your uh, closed interval, right? So we can still find 2 is still, still a critical value. However, since it's not in there, you guys can see why it doesn't work. Because if you plug in a 2, you're still, it's going to be undefined for your function of x. So therefore, this is your absolute max. And this is going to be your absolute min value. Alexis, do you have a question? Well, I, I didn't really solve for it. I basically said, um, I basically looked at when would this function be undefined. Oh, okay. And this function would be undefined whenever the denominator is equal to 0. Because, right, you can't divide by 0. Okay. Correct? So therefore, I square rooted both sides. And then x minus 2 equals 0. Add 2, add 2. x equals 2. So when x equals 2, that denominator is equal to 0. Okay. So it's just important, guys, you're going to have critical values. Um, 